George, I was uh, asking you about your, you know, uh, this blockbuster uh, exhibition, Objective Voice, and this was with uh, Vadir, if I am not uh, wrong. Yeah. Would you like to share certain things uh, about the show and the kind of work which you did? Hmm. And I believe there were sculptures, there were installations, a lot of stuff were there, even drawings and poems were there. Hmm. So, how was it? Like, what kind of exhibition was that? And what, what inspired you to put up that kind of show? It's almost 10, 10 years back. Right. Particular show. Right. So that time, like, I, it was mainly large body of installations mm -hmm. based on that particular sculpture, uh, exhibition. Okay. And a uh, few drawings were there. Okay. Uh, that show is uh, main content was like as a the same uh, big team. Okay. Like the somehow, I mean, the historically lot of. Uh, disasters or the history always make certain kind of marks those marks after a period of time mm -hmm. in the history while you are reading either it can be the joke or it can be the tragedy right so so these elements came in my mind while mm -hmm. I see certain things because once I visited to the Angkor Wat and the Cambodia and then with all Pol Pot regimes right so I have seen there are certain kind of uh, the skulls and all skulls and their all collection and their right. all the victims. They have dumped all their victims' head. Yes, heads and such kind of photographs as well as those land. Still, okay. There are in many places these land mines. Right. And also this invasion and uh, encroachment and the uh, uh, territories mm -hmm. and uh, global politics mm -hmm. and uh, regional uh, issues and uh, so this all the elements layered and those things I just translated into this particular exhibition. Okay. So there um, one work is called the crude science of Okay. That particular work, I it was like a, I just this particular was okay. Uh, so this is more like uh, this is death or yeah. This is the particular very iconic performance. Who done like uh, Joseph Bays? Who done the performance in in uh, uh, during this uh, Vietnam war time? Okay. So he covered the felt on his body, and he never stepped on this American soil. Okay. And then they put him into one put with with one coyote uh, or the wolf with the wolf, mm -hmm. and he stayed and he done that performance. Two okay. days. And uh, so it was like a reaction of this Vietnam War and which way the America done over there. Okay. The situation. So so you can check it that history, the elements in that. But that that performance and the which way he covered himself inside <laughs> and mm -hmm. he just hide inside with this all felt. Right. And outside is one of the one dangerous one creature. Right. And a period of time they began some kind of negotiation happened because okay. of the okay. ending of that performance. Uh -huh. This iconic of that photograph is remaining. So you have I seen see, the entire. You have seen the entire performance over there. No, I seen it. The, no, this is a, he done it in the seventies. Seventies he did. Okay. So, so but this. Uh, image when I go into the history, right, and uh, it's and it's still relevant. And so those that image, and then here I used as a kind of substitute of character. I used the dog in it, right here, and uh, even there the one test I used, you know, nonsense can fatally destroy the meaning of memory, and mm -hmm. the memory is the one another things. It's always honed me. Right. So these memories in the history, if you check it and any kind of interview you read it, people always talk about this memory and uh, that haunted elements, which way they go through that. Right. And uh, 
during this vietnam war time the there the there the rice battles happen over there this all the farmers they used to uh they uh, reassemble the these weapons and mm-hmm. they during that time they will be the farmers and the, when the new flights come they will okay. start to shoot okay. so so this uh, transition so so this these is the are, field, these are these are these are the, the scraps okay okay, yeah, okay. The field i created right by uh, rice these are the rice and uh-huh. then the down part the neon illuminated and the top having this old um, floating aircraft right and these are the toy so it's a kind of very playful way i created and as a myself i used as a victim okay. and this all bunch of the skulls surrounding there back full of skulls are here yes skulls are there so this is a work i created there so but it had uh, one corridor it's had a um, lot of illuminated lights it's create the heat inside so the okay. viewers can experience this heat then to cross inside and then they see and, and this is this is the image and that that image of uh, you, you sitting over there yeah. uh, in the previous page yeah, yeah, yeah? this sculpture this is you yeah. this is you, you uh, yeah, have yeah, yeah. Uh, imagine yourself yeah, as yeah. victim yes 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 oh it's a God. kind of self. okay yeah. and what title you have put now for this work uh, this work is called laugh and rememorization for for gone contribution Okay, and this was a part of the uh, show, and this was uh, at the, uh, Vadera. Yes, Vadera. Oh, yeah. so, so I made it by different experimental material. Like okay, fiberglass plus silicone and automobile finish. So uh, yeah, that's one work. and in that same show this one another things it was like the making about this vanity mm-hmm. so it's a objective voice and uh, this was again a recollection about the memory and they had a lot of sensors with this lights and uh, these are the objects then this works name is called time to plant tear time to plant tear okay so and the just of a test i used so that the object and this test is called personal mm-hmm. and the current so in this particular piece had one test this test is uh, like but this yeah in some way you became political when you don't have chance to be poetic <laughs> so that was current then the bunch of land and and that thing land back laid back so so, it, so, so it, it took a lot of time for you coming up with this uh, uh, exhibition this show i i i worked on almost a year two and a half years two and a half years yeah for creating this body of work and uh, yeah we can see here i did all the process and all the thing you know so kind of things so then I, and you did all this in delhi all this works in delhi in delhi, delhi, delhi only or in kerala in delhi no, in delhi that time my this big studio i had in um, mohammadpur just beside the high water okay so, so there i done this for the works the half day i done it and half then when i shifted to this area mm-hmm. here another one studio i done it here then like completing it so i can see so modeling and all so kind of period of time yeah there's a lot of free collection <laughs> if i <laughs> after long day and, 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 and looking at this images <laughs> uh, i just uh, remember what you said initially uh-huh. when you were a kid when going to school uh-huh. and you used to see a lot of things uh, you know people were used to make uh-huh. so wo jo cheez hai that essence is there like when the black and white photographs i was looking at uh-huh. so things are there like tidbits things are there uh-huh. oh my actually this skulls only here this is a red work and uh, this okay so it's having one kind of concave mirror in it 
so okay you put a mirror okay yeah, so inside all the things you will feel it and the same thing you can see it here so it's all part of the one work and And the show was there for one month, and it went on for how many days? Uh, I think it went over there. It was the one of my friend shot this image. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you started doing uh, digital art from that time? No. Uh, digital art, I didn't ever work much. Digital. You didn't work much. I never worked in digital art. Digital. So mainly, mainly sculptures, mainly installations. Uh, your paintings, and paintings, paintings. Yeah, paintings, paintings. Are you still doing uh, sculptures? I do sculptures. You are still practicing yeah, sculpture. The last show uh, was in so far so good. So far so good. Okay. Yeah, it's it's happening. Uh, Bangalore. Now okay. Kathlo come up, but uh, it's having I mean, last show. I can share the images. You okay. So, how many uh, ten keywords of success? Mm -hmm. So that kind of books, I'm not going to write it. Right. Oh, I'm going to say <laughs> <laughs> like that thing. Right. So that is a different kind of fundamental lecture. Right. Maybe a fundamental way of people talk. Right. But uh, being as an artist, I think what he have right. that inner fire, which way he keep hold. Right. So that is the journey. So how to how to it, 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 it's very. Uh, uh, it's very philosophical also when it comes to like how to become an artist it's it's a very uh, see there are so many children so many students there who are still confused like whether to go for art or whether to do something else sometimes they get to know that ki nahi art karoge to beta yahan wo nahi ho payega wo nahi kar paoge lot of struggle are there unko dekho ke how he is uh, surviving there is no money so so many things are there but still there are students who want to become an artist Whatever it is, that's a. It is a kind of very, very good questions and very longer answer basically. Mm -hmm. The thing is like, uh, I want to be an artist. It's a kind of big question because you can't be an artist one day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because of by right. Oh, good one. Oh, by one particular act you can be an uh, artist right it's again to your own one inner inner uh, breath right which way you inhale and exhale it right and maybe the medium you can change it you can adopt it in several way of your expression pattern also you can change it maybe right moving image or still image or maybe you are an actor you, you can sing absolutely or you can perform it whatever it is but why i have to do this to whom i have to do it for whom i make this thing right this all the things are inner agony mm -hmm. and that is one of uh, being as a practitioner i can't give one particular clue right but if your inner passion is relevant everything will follow right and, right uh, one example i can say about i can connect with the sports in that way because his Usain Bolt is a one runner mm -hmm. in his one interview. I, I just watching him because I was fascinated with his one right. running and all that. So he was telling like as a child, uh, he was hyper mm -hmm. and his mother want to send him to uh, school. But school also is very hyper. Okay. And uh, then his mother took him to doctor okay <laughs> so this fellow's energy is amazing and he can't do anything he, I mean, he's, he's not sit anywhere right, right. He, he can't his, 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 sit still somewhere right? yeah so his, uh, doctor said he's absolutely fine mm -hmm. he only channels his energy to something sports right and uh, even though their village they have to fetch the water from the farm distance right so that works his mother given to him and within a Minutes he finished those all the works and then he will be again he is doing his all the mysterious things. Right. So then his mother took him to school sports teacher mm -hmm. and sports teacher put him to the cricket. He wanted to play cricket. Right. And seeing his speed, 
that teacher said uh, <laughs> you are not uh, you will not good into we don't need this much speed into this particular sport right better you can be an athlete right but an athlete is very boring things to him because wherever he run he is winning yeah uh, so he effortlessly right because that act he is not at all doing any effort right and then but slowly he started to get the recognition in that field mm-hmm. and then he started to continue in that and in the coach is telling he is one of the laziest man he mm-hmm. never practice mm-hmm. he always judge who the people are running with him okay and that's the reason wherever he run he always look back and run if if need <laughs> then only he more effort otherwise he never do otherwise he will not <laughs> right if so, there are no there are no competitors he don't feel like running right so, and the letter mm-hmm. his way of his gesture right. his way of movement right so all the things became the uh, case study and their people are uh, made the templates right. that way running and his actions and all okay so that way some coaches are teaching to slot of uh, this athletics right but they never achieve what he's do okay because his that is his he adopted and he developed by his own genuine way absolutely and he stylizing his own way so, right but others are like adopting and if they mimic it that thing it's mm-hmm. never reach to that level for so, him that's very obvious that's very natural yes 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 right and then he practice and he he polish himself that thing right so so the thing is what i i have to conclude it like that that passion is involved in that thing and True. also his naivety also involved in that thing. right so then if you are trying something else right this is not me i have, i have to do something else True. it's not that and this is me i can do by this also many things right so True. so how you evolve and mindfully continue the thing that mm-hmm. is the matter okay and what you say what you do this also matter right so so and also follow the inner core right being an artist you have to call your your own inner core right and that can be your own inner fire and what else whatever else you do but still why you doing this act right then there is a time you will be to get recognition and everything will follow true so that is the things only i think me as an artist uh, it means that is very much uh, see uh, even in colleges art colleges uh, students think like uh, one has to get the recognition very fast like fast in the sense within 2 years or within 1 year and even when they are in the college like uh, in the first year or the second year or third year they think like they should start doing you know rounds of the galleries galleries should get you know they you should be noticed by the galleries curator should pick you up if you don't get pick up picked up by any curator that means you are not worth it so this kind of things are there and this has seeped into their psyche right from the second year or from the fu- fu- first year from the foundation and they lack the stamina or the courage to work on or to do drawings or painting or to do sculptures actually and what exactly they are doing they are running around chasing around these galleries so what do you think about this culture you see institutions never make an artist right and institution never make an even engineer also true okay so it should sure can make doctors also true the thing is like whatever we call this all in the institution they teach the professional course so the somebody want to carry as a kind of profession right so in that way somebody approaching to this subject mm-hmm. because if you are studying in the literature Mm-hmm. and then after completing the literature you will be the writer right and i don't think so he can be the writer maybe he will be good skill little writing certain kind of drafting skill right maybe he will achieve it right the institution the kids they will join to the institution and then learn some kind of rendering technique one kind of mod- modeling technique true or maybe certain kind of uh, techniques of pitching their concept to the people right so certain idea they can uh, showcase which way this mm-hmm. all the patterns they develop they learn so after that that will be one patternized things if they want to continue they can continue it and that thing if they some people want it maybe they will pitch it proper time mm-hmm. and then proper place 
maybe some people proper time and proper place means it's a kind of according to their uh, uh, their uh, fully functional time they, they pitch it and that thing if they got the recognition or not recognition but doesn't matter but this is the way one 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 uh, level of the people work and other level of the people they mm -hmm. least bother about this all the system mm -hmm. it's a kind of you can say about maybe the bogeyman in life or maybe detached from everything mm -hmm. maybe some people as an as a citizen mm -hmm. or the well aware person mm -hmm. he want to live as a kind of modern uh, living creature mm -hmm. and he is well aware about everything True. he is political socio political aware he is well aware about his own sustainability mm -hmm. he is well aware about his own existence mm -hmm. so he know how to live himself True. that is a mindful way he is doing right in that uh, practice whatever mm -hmm. he is doing it can be art true Right. So, so there is then this all the institution, this all the galleries, this all the museum. Everybody will follow to that person because right. it's a unique. Right. So that is the reason the history feature given the Tony uh, Richard Long. He left the museums and gallery. He started to work on it. He started to work and he used to document it. Those mm -hmm. were the photography taken. Mm -hmm. So period of after this entire archives of what he documented, <laughs> it became unique. Right. They were chasing him like it the other, other way, other way around. Other way around. So the how you explore and how you excite the world. True. By Absolutely. your experience when you share to people. So it's something totally different than to experience he, the person is going through that thing. Absolutely. Otherwise in the same bucket if you pour that thousands of different color and putting into stir it up then what will happen nothing will happen because nothing. it's only will be the soupy uh, one uh, dark one muddy color absolutely so the how you refine it yourself and how you mirror yourself how you become a, how you become an unique thing yes. unique person yes as so, an artist yes it's a kind of so that thing that individuality and that uh, self awareness is a person's goal so okay. that is, you can explore it within the society also, without the society also. Okay. That's all personal. That's all personal general. Personal things. Right. And that's neat. 100% uh, dedication. Right. As well as that uh, inner courage. True. So for that thing, how you will get it that thing? Because we can find a lot of unique people in around our surroundings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, they are much, much more interesting people. But I can tell one, one of my ex, uh, experience when I went to Bengal, mm -hmm. I went to one of my friend's house. Okay. So, he, I met his mother. So, his mother is amazing creative person. Mm -hmm. When I went there, then uh, in his one shelf full of her lot of small small sculptures i call it sculptures mm -hmm. but it's all teeny mini things like the maximum sizes made, made with clay no no it's a kind of five inch or something so what's made of like what it's like it is like uh, every day she ritually while she do her home cleaning mm -hmm. whatever things she get it from his floor, her floor mm -hmm. maybe Maybe it can be one buttons, maybe it can be the safety pin, right. maybe it can be the toothpick, mm -hmm. or maybe wrappers of some uh, candy, whatever. So this whole the thing she collect it and keep it in one container. Okay. And every day she do that thing, that's segregate it and keep it this kind of thing. And then monthly she'll go for the grocery buying in her uh, ration budget. Okay. She buys some some fevic bond or fevic kind of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. also she buy mm -hmm. and when she get this one, between the her daily chore time mm -hmm. she start to add join this thing this is just opposite of this things okay okay and then she keep it that thing and end year one month means she keep it in that shelf okay and so her son is now that thing she he uh, conservating that also Okay. Okay. So, very properly that thing. One another thing I have seen her, uh, it was that time winter. 
bedroom i went over there then there's a ceiling fan is there mm-hmm. so that the ceiling fan all the three leaf, leaves mm-hmm. she made uh, by this yarn she made the special jacket for her okay and she covered the, those uh, like uh, plates of the fan the, 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 yeah the three leaves so three leaves and then i asked to her why it is so then she said to me because they are there summer they are working in the winter they get cold <laughs> wow so i i felt that it's amazing wow creative yeah. person i never I means and she is not so called uh, gallery artist or anything okay and uh, such kind of practice there are many people doing in the document uh, even the binale true old. true and she is not in under the any kind of bracket of the feminist movement mm-hmm. or she is not under about talking about socio political issues true true but she is intense with art right and that is her, and she is enjoying that true that that's the thing that's the thing she is carrying that essence inside her yes so right? the art is like that so that everywhere even Yeah, in the Bengal, but why I'm saying that journey, I travel few other places. Mm-hmm. Bengal, one another things I saw. There is one. Uh, I don't know. You also may be aware about that. Is Monsha God? Monsha God is a snake god. Ha 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 ha. So the village, the earlier, uh, the the women they make the small pot by the clay mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and then they keep certain kind of. Uh, Paddy or anything. Ha ha ha! I know, I know, I know. Point here, ha. Small one, ha. Yeah, under the tree. Right. Now, but they they get this ready-made things, you no know, right. made by the hands and all. So, so this is my friend. He travelled around with all the villages and many places, okay. many years, and he collected this. Okay. Small pots. Okay. And the small pots aesthetics last four decade. Okay. How it's transformed. and uh, the earlier uh, whatever he collected those things had uh, very much uh, very raw feeling of the each woman's their handling method was by the manually they create right it's not by the wheeling or uh-huh. potter skill but right. very manually they do that thing and slowly slowly begins became very um, tedious act they felt the many women the people are uh, urbanized you know mm-hmm. so they started to get this kind of things from the small small vendors mm-hmm. so for them there some people they started to make this thing so then they started to create certain kind of mold and punching the clay and taking out okay then getting attraction they started to fit one face on the top okay so that phase like that then how this bollywood influence to this day mm-hmm. and then this uh hema malini to jay prada jay prada to <laughs> you know such kind of thing and right. the number like dibuka padukon or something that like this aesthetic change this phase change gradually gradually so those things they incorporate with this thing. so that's also very interesting in that way so there are a lot of layers you know which you which way the person can incorporate with their own uh, their own interest as right. well as their own uh, practices right. so it is very uh, that journey is more important than you know that process is more important than the result in that way okay so. yeah this also part of life This was a part of life. ये भी एक जर्नी है ना दीज आर स्मॉल स्कल्चर्स वो है माई डॉटर ओके I have seen. Uh, I still remember one of your, uh, you know, exhibition, that uh, India Art Fair, uh-huh. and during that uh, there was like uh, there were small uh, sculptures were there yeah, on yeah, the wall, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. and you created yourself basically, yes, yes, right? Yes. It was George Martin hanging from the wall. Yes. 
those uh, i've seen uh-huh. and i don't remember the gallery which who, with whom the gallery was palette that uh-huh. that was the palette yeah. and that was really beautiful because when i looked at this work uh-huh. all these small you know <laughs> clay sculptures so i just uh, got to i think i think Yeah, this one, I think. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it's here. I mean, lot of different projects in this. One. Okay. Are you still doing sculptures like uh, like you're still be, uh, like occupied with sculptures or you are into painting uh, primarily right now? No, I do all like uh, during this. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks. This, due to the pandemic, I unable to make lot of the scaled scaled works. Right. The last this is one of my work because it last to last year I created. This one, the small ones. Yes. One basically now. Oh, this is a work. Democracy. Actually, it is. Um, if I start it, this will be frozen up as a uh, uh, ice. Okay. This thing, this is democracy. So I have to connect it, to plug it, no. So it is. I just done it by prototype kind of work, but I have to create this in very bigger way. So this I shown it in that uh, last uh, that uh, art fair time. And it's Rhino. Yeah, it's a Rhino. Doing on the top. Actually, this will be. Um, this will get illuminated. Not illuminated. It will be ice. Oh wow! This will be ice. Be ice because the compressor will function and it will create an ice. So. This was the one. I had one test on this thing. So, oh, by far the people like this. Which this by one? The people work. for <laughs> for the people. And this was uh, at uh, India Fair. Yeah, India Art Fair time. It was the parallelly that uh, uh, it's a beginner. They had the show okay that. beginner house. Um, so yeah, this test maybe if you want you can go through. Yep. Yes. Okay. So during that time, this all this was a century that strike was going on. So, uh-huh. so I just thought of something I do react to that. You react to that. <laughs> so like it was in my mind, but uh-huh. I'm not really kind of I'm not activist. Right. <laughs> And George, uh, what do you think about this relationship uh, between the artist and the galleries? See, uh, we need the galleries, obviously. Mm-hmm. The artist needs the galleries to survive. Uh-huh. So, do you think the artist should be totally dependent on the galleries for their art and for their well-being, or it's just like uh, because uh, we feel like even in students also, uh, and where uh, there are individual artists also like there that they they are only working with the galleries, and there are artists who don't work with the galleries at all. It's all depend on the person to person. And okay. At the same time, it's depend on the what kind of practice they are doing. True. If it is an artist, uh, it's a creative practitioner. He's doing the things like it's a kind of uh, ending is a kind of with the objects. Right. Or it's a kind of collectible pieces. Mm-hmm. So then, maybe as an individually, maybe he can't operate it by himself. Right. Period of time. Mm-hmm. So he needs some kind of 
financial backup or some kind of his continuation purpose, he True. needs some kind of backup. So then he needs some kind of uh, mediators between. True. So in that role, then the gallery has that kind of role. Mm-hmm. Because they are the well negotiators with the uh, uh, collectors and mm-hmm. be, uh, art, art, budding artist or the practicing artist. True. So they can negotiate between the level. So between the things. Maybe mm-hmm. as an individual, maximum artists are not very good at into this kind of PR True. and all the stuff. True. So in that way, if you think that it, there's a gallery having a great role in that. True. And the spe- and that also within the metro cities. True. In that way. But there are many practitioners, they are away from this all the thing. Right. And they are doing. Mm-hmm. And if they kind of if the if they think I am practicing, but at the same time uh, my art has to be in public, mm-hmm. I serve in the public art. Right. That kind of bracket, if he's thinking about that, thing, then he don't need such kind of people anymore. Right. But if the he's thinking about okay, it has to be in the monumental, and it has to be. Uh, in front of some kind of institutions and right. such kind of places, then he need a lot of bureaucratic connections. So then that kind of mediating mediators, right. Right. then only he get that kind of places. Right. So this all is all that depend on the persons to person. Right. And what kind of practice he's doing. Absolutely. And uh, everybody's complement their own way in mm-hmm. the society. Mm-hmm. So so that thing, if you the person, they can take it. Mm-hmm. Or not take it. That is their person's choice. Right. But uh, what we call the modern uh, civilized society, mm-hmm. that is a big one uh, challenging question. Right. So, right. So there are some pe- uh, some people think uh, this is the things most modern things. Mm-hmm. Then those things, how the general public will understand that time this kind of publishers or the galleries or dealers they showcasing them in mm-hmm. such a way so then it's a kind of lifting of the things the True. branding of the things True. so in that level this kind of uh, mediators are in the great role in that way right so, absolutely so that is the way this system function that way that way it's either you can get into that thing mm-hmm. or step back from that thing mm-hmm. and you can move your own way. No, there is nobody asking. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't it? And the walls are there. If you want to exp- uh, express your creativity in another way, you can right. do the graffiti, you can do it in right. land art, you can do it in many manner. Right. Isn't it? So True. If the Robert Smithson, he done the projects in their land arts and all in the historically. Right. So that's a large scale things he done in that spiral jetty and all the stuff. True. Right. But uh, Christo also done the very huge projects. Right. Uh, but then he was associate, uh, collaborating with his all the kind of institutions right. and uh, people as well as uh, nation itself. Right. So, so that also very large scale things. And who is stopping you? Who <laughs> is stopping you? Yes. yes. <laughs> so True. this all the things are in front of the in front of us. All True. the possibilities. Only thing is we have to broaden up our mind. True. As much you broaden up, that much you will be understand yourself. Very true. Right. So if you are narrowing narrowing ourselves, then you will be restrict ourselves. Right. Then we limit. Then this all so-called inferiority come to the work and inferiority came to that thing. Mm-hmm. Then existential dilemma come. Mm-hmm. Then the person will not be visible. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. The, the socialization is the one of the... The chain the, reaction the, starts. Yes. <laughs> kind of <thing. laughs> so, uh, we can't say that uh, I am not uh, I am not getting chances. No one can say that. This is the place for everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. If, 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 I, there is no light, so that's the reason I can't read it. I can't say there are the lights. If then is the who the people are passionate, in, then we can go and find out the lights where the public lights are there. We can go and sit there and you can read it. True. True. So we don't need to I mean see if I have only my own light, then only I will sit and read. Absolutely. It's, it's all on choices. Yes. I mean, what kind of choices you make and 
and it's always there like you have to grab the opportunities you have to like if it's not there you can create it also yes yes yes, yes. the opportunity so, you can create also that's the things you know you this is a this world is for us true we born in this time true. this entire is not only humans you know mm-hmm. people think about what is the things like they they always think about the human and nature mm mm-hmm. mm the human is a part of the nature they can't think about that right, <laughs> right. <laughs> and right. Also, also think about this vaccine hmm. and all the stuff right so this is the part of the evolution and in the evolution this kind of creature uh, this kind of virus come and the virus is many way which multiply true and as yes, a human they think how oh, they are the conquering the world and they make the vaccine and they will sustain here mm-hmm. other all the things they will destroy it's not that no Mm-hmm. This is a part of the thing. This is a part of the invention. They found the vaccine. That's the reason we are prolonging this life. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, the lifespan was the forty year or thirty years right. earlier. One the they just multiply their generation, then they will die. That was the nature of this world. True. Any creatures, they only they generate uh, generate the next generation. Right. They multiply their uh, species. Then after they die. right is it but they invented you and they found this all the kind of uh, science and they adopt you they use this all the techniques they founded this medicine they prolong this life and they extending what they are old age only extending <laughs> this not they are not extending and they are thinking and blaming this all the things came from here and here and this all the blaming only happening in that mm-hmm. so rather than this blaming whatever vital time we are present live on the present and experience it and express it you know so thing is like that yes then i i'll come to the uh, next uh, part of this because it has given an option uh-huh. uh, you just please carry on it given an option where i will try to focus on how you survived during this pandemic and you still surviving and we are all still surviving some of us uh-huh. like what was your life uh, last year like 2020 uh-huh. when things were like severe uh-huh. so i will come to that also uh-huh. uh yeah is it, uh, is it uh, this work is finished or uh, it's still going on it is done i think now i will remove it i think maybe <laughs> i will do a little bit more i think so this is color has to be and uh, this color is uh, this is ink of of uh, this is acrylic okay and uh, the black is ink the it's black is ink. acrylic ink like so it's a waterproof okay the acrylic ink you have used yeah. wow so right now uh, in kochi there is one show mm-hmm. bos krishna majari ke writing okay the job of mentor right okay for that i created 18 drawings that is going for the show okay and this is one of them no no that is already gone okay so that is the half size of 18 pieces i made okay half size okay uh george uh the life we had in 2020 during the pandemic uh-huh. how was it like uh, it challenged you yeah we can we can talk about there it it was challenging for each and every one so how challenging uh, it was like uh, like See, emotionally every way this is a challenges all the aspects mm-hmm. it is a challenge right <laughs> and, and uh, has the pandemic changed your outlook towards life towards your art has it impacted it you is, in any way it is like it had certain merits and demerits also i feel it like that okay that kind of thing okay it was very triggered fastest pace mm-hmm. i had okay earlier okay so i keeping work and traveling and all thing okay so during this pandemic initially it didn't affect at all because mm-hmm. as an uh, person i i normally this isolation i enjoy okay because of like while you are doing the art and all thing i always will be our own space and that kind of thing okay but 
period of time like is three months four months and all then started to see this even those newses and everything is keeping triggering in our mind and right so the the social media giving the social dilemma also to the people's mind true and these are wrong information and all the thing and right the second hand information true so the different kind of analytical things and mm-hmm. realization and all that. Uh, but then this uh, felt like uh, this social gathering and uh, social exchanging Mm-hmm. our social platforms became very much digitalized way mm-hmm. and the people are all isolated and they are sharing into this social platform mm-hmm. so social media platform please go so social media platform right so there i felt there is no any first hand experience in that way mm-hmm. and uh, those things and also all information is so fastly you know, started to get in that thing and the, without registering was there any space for anxiety did anxiety enter your life in 2020 because no it's not any anxiety in that thing because i was watching or uh, reading and watching and all mm-hmm. lot lot of stuff so mm-hmm. in that way there is no any anxiety but i had lot of um, non people gone through this pandemic uh, disease and then this uh, they were uh, some people recovered mm-hmm. and some people no more okay so such kind of things uh, certain indirectly affect in our mind true that thing very true and uh, without knowing even the some one young chap he just passed away so okay so also couple of my uh, non people okay so so such kind of things uh means as a human being it's it's effect which we that is mm-hmm. but i can't differentiate like that is how it is uh, reacted into your creative practice and okay thing, because i can't detach the life and creativity separately because it's all together true in that way. true and uh, and somehow i think i am blessed and situated in here mm-hmm. so, so i can access my studio and house very close by so, right so that is the reason i i could engage my practice okay so but at my some of many of my friends and uh, same contemporaries they are able to do it that thing mm-hmm. because of the lockdown and all the period true so they were in very traumatic situation so mm-hmm. he, i mean so i usually used to call them and morally boost up them and such kind of things used to be that thing okay mm-hmm. uh i think we have a, a great session talking to you and you shared your space and you shared your journey with the entire world and i really i'm really thankful to you that uh, you gave so much of time of from your you know uh, busy schedule and all so thanks to you and it was nice talking to you no, no, thank you thanks for <laughs> so how you how you pronounce your name it's george p martin or george, george martin? martin george martin george martin pj pj is initial and okay joseph so that is a kind of abbreviation with the panical joseph okay but there's a surname and father name actually i used to call like george martin but then when it became like uh, it became the visible name and mm-hmm. such kind of things then like uh, the, the great uh, producer of beatles musician so mm-hmm. his name also george martin right so so then i start to add my initial in it okay so uh, so thanks again thanks to you george martin thank you okay thank you i don't know